Yeah, hi, this is Kevin again. Uh, this time I'm showing the last of the Roman armies. This is uh, from Byzantium, as you, as you remember. Uh, the empire of Rome was too big. It was split in half, east and west. This is the eastern half. It had its capital in uh, Constantinople. And it came to its height of power um, under Justin. And it really rivaled the early Roman Empire. I mean, it, it really stretched more to the east. But it was, was there and held out all the way into the 1450s. So Rome really lasted all the way to 1450. And this is the army that held the Eastern Empire together. And I hope that you enjoy this as much as I do. It has a reminiscence of the old Rome mixed with uh, mercenaries, mixed with a lot of Christian Greek Orthodox symbolism. It became a Christian nation and was really the, uh, the fortress against uh, the pressures of the East. It is a very interesting history and one that I really appreciate and enjoy. I loved painting this army, and I hope that you enjoy it as much as I did actually painting it and presenting it. You'll see uh, different color styles. You'll find also different periods of uh, Byzantium mixed in here. Um, some units and some cavalry weren't used at the early part. Of course, it's changed just like the Roman Empire changed. But anyway, without further ado, uh, let's take a look at this army. I hope that uh, um, you're kind in your comments. I'm not the best painter and not the best photographer either, as one can see. But anyway, I hope that you enjoy it. And yeah, I love my hobby and I love its community. So yeah, let's take a look and see what we got here. Well, this is the last of the Roman armies. This is uh, my mid and late Byzantine army. I really, really like this army. And uh, it's predominantly Essex and some forged in battle. But I uh, really, really liked the old Essex figures. I mean, they were just, just fantastic. I think they're one of their finest sculptings. But, to, oh, oh, we have to we start always with the commander. So I took a, a tent, painted it what I thought might be nice for, for the uh, Byzantine emperor. And, and it was kind of tight to fit on, on the stand, but I don't know, I like it. He's got his little gold scepter and his uh, cross of, uh, Orthodox cross of Christ and it has got a Varangian next to him, and I think it looks nice. I, I think it's a nice, a nice uh, a little piece. And I have, of course, uh, two units of cataphracts. I really liked how these turned out, so I kind of did uh, took a little bit of uh, license here, uh, a little bit of a yellow uh, one, and then one of uh, of more full cataphract but with blues and creams but i don't know i think i think they look good so two units of those and of course and i've got uh, some norman uh, mercenaries on the right hand side and i have some mercenaries from the huns or bulgars on the left so yeah i think they turned out nice i think these are these are old glory figures and some some others mixed in, but I think they turned out pretty nice, to be honest. They, um, I brought them in from my my Hun collection, and and uh, yeah, you can add or take some away. But anyway, let's uh, let's take a look at the infantry. So uh, uh, here's the Varangian guards. Now these uh, came from um, forged in battle, and that was their Varangian guard uh, pack, and. I, I think they turned out pretty pretty nice. I didn't paint them too ostentatious. I did more blues and uh, and and purples that kind of fit with the with uh, with the theme. And I did a lot of uh, um, you know raven raven shields and and um, 
gold shields, a little bit more, you know, ostentatious. I don't know, it's not uh, focusing that great, but anyway, I think, I think they turned out pretty, pretty nice. Sorry about my, my fingers. I was painting and I got paint all over myself. Anyway, um, and then I've got uh, th two stands of each. I usually did one row of spearmen and one row of, of archers behind it, various different different kinds, different shield patterns, different banners. And um, however, I've, I've figured, I just wanted it to be really colorful, have a lot of Christian type symbols, uh, and then some older symbols from, uh, from the Roman Empire, as you can see from here. So it kind of gives that, that feel. But, you know, you can you can use the uh, Essex figures. I mean, a lot of people kind of scoff at them, but I think they're still pretty, pretty, pretty decent. They paint up nice. Um, just some various javelin and slinger and crossbow um, units. Some archers. You may come around here to just various different light cavalry. And I tried to do a little bit more with the shields and um, than than most, but you'll see a kind of an interesting pattern here. So each unit is is unique. So that's uh, um, one unit, and of course the next they have um, armored archers uh, behind them. Um, but I think that that um, in general each unit is unique coming in from the different uh, the different states. So I've got five um, cavalry units heavy on the right flank, and then as we come over to the left, it's really mirrored. So we've got, uh, uh, once again, light, light cavalry and uh, um, various different shield patterns and mixing up with, uh, with the different uh, uh, thematics, and, uh, and then here's the uh, the other units here. So each one has its own own patterns, and yeah, I think they they turned out quite lovely. But I really really like the Byzantines, and that kind of concludes the end of the Roman army. But it is pretty pretty good size. Um, a lot of figures. A lot of figures, but I think they look good. I mean, there's uh, different um, um, parts of it. You can add cavalry or more or take away infantry. You can add stronger ranging guide, guard contingency or take them away entirely. Uh, you can make it a little bit more archer oriented, but I think in general, it's uh, uh, turned out to be a very, very nice looking looking army and I hope that you enjoyed it and I think that um, to be honest there's a lot of other figures out there that one can use that that um, that make for a good army but to be honest I haven't found any that really really thrilled me as much as uh, as the Essex still they just timeless You'll notice I'll have, uh, I, I do have a lot of different periods of the Byzantines mixed into my figures. Um, I pull them in and out um, to show or to play a more historical game at that time. So, of course, you wouldn't have Norman knights there at the same time that you might have other things. But um, I think it's a fun, fun army. You can play it against the Crusaders. You can play it against the Turks. Uh, the Egyptians, you can pull it, play it against the Franks, of course, and Goths, uh, Longobards, if you're going more historical. Uh, I think that the Essex figures, as I mentioned before, really, really do uh, this army uh, justice. I haven't seen any other figures out there much that, that are great. Forged in Battle has some nice ones. But um, anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed this. I'm not the best cameraman, 
And I, I try. Like I said, I'm just trying to create a, a library for my fellow gamers and fellow enthusiasts uh, to kind of create discussions on various armies and show, you know, different painting styles. But um, I do appreciate the comments, really appreciate your, your thoughts. This is a great little army, tough on the battlefield with its combined arms. And I think that, um, yeah, I'd love to have your comments on or pictures sent to me on your Byzantine army. Thanks.